What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so a friend of mine sent me a link to a Breitbart article, and in the article is about Howard Stern being in blackface and making a video and uh, very, very uh, 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 disrespectful and racist humor using the N-word and saying pretty much saying jokes that you would think would get him canceled. Now, in the video, it is um, Howard Stern dressed in blackface. He is dressed up to, to imitate Ted Danson, who in 1993 was wearing blackface to make fun of Whippy Goldberg, and it was like in a roast or something. Uh, now, in this very same video, you had the late, great Sherman Helmsley, who played George Jefferson in, in The Jeffersons in the 1970s um, American sitcom, classic American sitcom, classic American character, George Jefferson. Uh, Sherman Helmsley was in this video dressed as Whippy Goldberg. Uh, the premise was to make fun of uh, 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 Ted Danson and, and, and Whippy Goldberg, that situation. Uh, I don't believe Howard Stern was uh, trying to be uh, uh, racist or, or offensive or disrespectful to anyone. I believe he was being typical Howard Stern and, and trying to be humorous and shocking. Uh, that's what built his career. Uh, that's what Howard Stern does. He's a shock jock and he, he pushes the line, which I believe comedy is always supposed to push the line uh, between you know what's normal and what's not normal. Uh, that's free speech, by the way. I, I fully support it. Uh, now, in the video, Stern is using the N-word. He's saying very, very, very offensive uh, 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 racial jokes. Um, uh, something you would think would completely end his career and anyone's career. Cancel culture is real. It is a real thing. They're out there trying to cancel people's uh, life just for disrespecting the, the, the far left radical uh, ideologues that are out there. But they, they didn't come for Howard Stern yet. Uh, in fact, uh, the video seems to be taken down. I share the link with people. I try to find it. It's hard to find the video. You can't find it anymore. It's being pulled uh, pulled off the shelf so no one can see it. I, I believe they're doing that uh, probably to try to sweep this whole story under the rug because uh, they need Howard Stern. He has a very large audience. He's an anti-Trumper. He's been making a ton of disrespectful comments towards Trump supporters in the last few months. Uh, they're going to let him rock out like this probably until November when they don't need him anymore. He's just a useful idiot at this point. November comes, maybe then they'll turn their attention on him about face and go after him and try to cancel him, uh, if that's even possible at this point. Uh, now, we've seen Justin Trudeau, the, the, the prime minister of Canada, who came out in multiple photos of him in blackface. All he did was apologize. Uh, and they accepted his apology. It was no big deal, probably because, again, they need him. Useful idiot. He pushes the far radical left agenda, so they let him rock on with his nonsense. Uh, Ralph Northam from uh, the Virginia, from uh, the governor from Virginia, who was also photographed in blackface, uh, he admitted to being in the picture, said he didn't know which one he was, either the man in blackface or the man in the Ku Klux Klan outfit. He also wore blackface to imitate, uh, uh, to impersonate Michael Jackson in a, uh, a talent show back when he was in, like, in high school or something. Uh, there's been others too as well, but there's no outrage. They just accepted their apology, and that's probably because these uh, these individuals are, are grossly pushing the radical left agenda, so, and they need them right now, so they're going to spare them the cancel culture uh, 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 thing. Uh, where is the hashtag Me Too movement? The hashtag Believe All Women movement? Where is the the, the feminist movement? The, you know, against Joe Biden with the Tara Reid situation. We're all familiar with that. They got swept under the rug. They're not. They don't care. They believe Joe Biden. They're on his side. Uh, they'll accept his apology. Why? Because they need him until November. Because he's going up against Trump. This whole uh, political environment that we're in, you can see the hypocrisy and everything. This truly is at the moment uh, uh, their new target, uh, and has been for the last three years, four years, is to be anti-Trump, to go after Trump. Um, they don't want the same e equality that they claim they want. Uh, they don't really want, it's really a power grab. It is a movement for power. They don't want equality. Uh, they want power. They pick and choose when they want equality and when it's all about power. If they just wanted equality, they'll go after Howard Stern right now. They'll, they would have gone after Justin Trudeau. They would have gone after Ralph Northam. They would have gone after um, uh, uh, Joe Biden to Tara Reid situation. They would go after you and try to cancel you no matter what, not uh, uh, just forgive you and, and sweep it under the rug because, uh, you know, you're a useful idiot. And they need you at the moment. Uh, I can imagine once Trump is out of office uh, and it doesn't matter anymore and this isn't about Trump anymore, maybe then they'll get around to those people that they can try to cancel uh, because they're just, you know, they're useful idiots and uh, they're not very useful anymore once Trump is gone. If Trump wins in November, uh, he gets, you know, this is his last term and, and there's nothing to fight. You can fight against Trump, but he's out of office in the next four years uh, and they won't need anyone anymore. Uh, maybe that's when they'll go after these people. I mean, you know, these, these people will wait. See, they're very patient. Uh, uh, they'll wait 20 years and then come after you. Uh, they, they don't care. You can have a video or a picture that you, you've taken that's offensive from 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 
uh, and it'll, it'll, it'll resurface. And then they'll, they'll come after you and try to cancel you over it. They don't give a shit. Uh, so they, they're patient. They'll wait. They'll wait till Trump's out of office and then they'll come after Howard Stern. Uh, then they'll come after everybody and, and start criticizing them. Uh, just not now because they need you right now to for a, a power grab. It's not about equality. What, what was the old saying from the Georgia Well Animal Farm? We're all equal, but some people are more equal. Classic example of that happening right now. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.